Okay, I am fucking tired of doing these intros all the time, but we have, uh, just the other day, we were talking about Kenosha, Wisconsin, and of course, things fire off like crazy. Nice bottle this time, because cans are gay. And uh, now we have a- Can't say uh, gay. Now we have Can't people- Can't say gay. Shut the fuck up. Okay, Don't yeah. say it. So now we have people in Portland uh, doing a, um, a, uh, uh, a prayer. Right? Patriot's prayer. A Patriot's prayer. And, and some guy walks by and gets shot in the head for nothing. And for what? Fuck this coffee. All right, and we're just gonna read the news right now. I tr you know what, I trust New York Post. Based on what I've, New York Post is pretty reputable. They just go through the news. I'm like all oh, this bullshit. They, they just go through it and it's, it's a nice change. Okay. All right, we're straight to the point. Man fatally shot near downtown Portland. Protest clashes. Clashed his? Clashes. Clash as. A man was fatally shot in Portland near where a pro-Trump caravan rolled through counter-protests, according to multiple local news reports. It's not clear if the shooting is related to the demonstra- Fucking demonstration! New York Post, get your shit together! Get your rioters! Rioters! I trust them! Stop being so loud! Jesus, get your shit Just together! Just say rioters! Is that a bad word now? So what happened was, there was a video, and what you see is a guy just walking by, by himself, and then you hear in the video, Go get him, go get him. He's over here, he's over here. Boom, this shot is, in the head. This is like what I was saying in, in, in our other, in our last video, the Kenosha, Wisconsin one, where the where Kyle Rittenhouse, that guy. So people are killing, murdering, uh, over nothing, basically nothing, right? Well That's see, what, this is. what the left is saying right now is it was justified. They're saying, oh, it's self-defense because Kyle did it. Well, not really, this guy was, Walking by, apparently he pulled out bear, bear, uh, bear mace or some type of mace, and the other guy responded with uh, gunfire. But they hunted him down. You know, Scott Adams, right? Uh, guy of Dilbert. He said Republicans will be hunted on the streets soon, and his prophecy yeah. came right. Yeah, that's Antifa for you. So they will not stop. They will kill you if they want to. They will not hold you down and wait for police to come and apprehend you or arrest you. They'll just kill you. They'll just fucking flat out shoot you in the head because they don't like you. So someone was potentially uh, the suspect. Man suspected in deadly Portland shooting calls himself 100% Antifa or, uh, you know, he's a filthy communist, right? What do you want, what do you want me to say? 100% retard. Look at this guy, look how he looks. Look at his face. He's on bath salts. See now, do you think, do you think this face here is uh, a product of indoctrination or a product of just Stupidity. Lessons. He's 48 years old. You know what my dad does? My dad's in his 50s, right? My dad builds fences. My dad works, builds stuff. What is this? What does he do? Oh, he has kids too. Oh, geez. Well, Look, those kids are fun. this is drugs. This is pure drugs and ideology, leftist ideology. And with a cocktail of drugs, heroin, and all sorts of fucked up shit. And this is your result right here. How come everyone who's in Antifa looks like an idiot or has a <laughs> shitty background? Does that not speak to something? Let's read you the don't, news. You don't see good standing citizens in Antifa. Antifa's full of orphans. People who are going <laughs> nowhere. You. People with criminal backgrounds. He like, didn't have a dad. Hello? All right, let's read it. Ex-military man who calls himself 100% Antifa and ready for war is being investigated over the deadly shooting of a President Trump supporter in Portland. According to a report, Michael Forrest, right? I can't say his name. 48 is being investigated of the death of Aaron Danielson, a supporter of the right wing Patriot Pair group who was part of a caravan of Trump supporters who flooded the city Saturday, police sources told the Oregonian. So what happened was in Portland, there was a uh, Trump supporters roll through Portland downtown with their trucks, which was legal, by the way. You can do that. So, okay, let me get this straight. They were doing nothing wrong. Oh, no, nothing wrong. They were wrong. just driving. Driving they through? weren't starting things on fire and throwing burning barrels at police. And no, they're just driving people. through Portland downtown. Just driving. Just driving. All of a sudden, that's a problem. Okay, go on. So, there was one guy, this, this is what Antifa does, okay? They come after you in a group, right? Because they're not thinking, their minds are all on bath salts, they're all drug addicts, they have no dads, they're orphans. And they're running, it's like the Raiders off Fallout 4. Except yeah. I, be, I think the Raiders have more <laughs> moral for it, for more, more force, I don't yeah. know. But what they do is they, they don't take you on when you, by your, they get you when you're by yourself, when you're walking home, that's when they get you. That's what yeah. they did with, uh, a couple years ago, Gavin McInnes held uh, an event in New York City. 
and some Proud Boys were leaving and Antifa tried to attack them when they were walking by themselves. This is what they fucking do. They yeah. come after you when yeah. you're alone because they're pussies. So what he's saying is is that uh, it's gang mentality. You know, you have one guy who is uh, like in trouble and in order to fight that one guy, your gang needs 10 people. They're 10 pussies. against one, 10 against one. It's never one against one. Have it's you never one against one hand-to-hand -hand combat. Have it's 10 against one and the victim has Jeez. nothing and every one of those 10 people have a gun or a knife. That's how they fight. And they're pasty. They're pathetic. And they're scrawny. They're pathetic. You loser. Cowards, cowards, man. The Democrats are not quelling the violence. The only person spread is President Trump, right? But right now in, in the United States, he says, hey. Be nice, stay. Be nice, okay, don't do that. <laughs> okay, so Trump right now, he has uh, militarized resources at the ready, okay? He has the US Marshals. He has the National Guard. And he said to all these Democrat state governors, say the word, I'll roll them out. Let's crack some skulls. They don't do it. I think the Chicago mayor, I forget her name. She's this crazy lady. She has huge eyeballs. And she said, I don't want Donald Trump telling me how to govern my town. Well, Chicago, come on. They call it Chirac for a reason. Yeah. Shootings happen all the time. All the time, so, every day. What would happen if Trump just did the Insurrection Act? Insurrection Act being you're allowed to mili uh, apply militarized resources and pressure on Antifa. What would happen? They'd say, oh, you're a fascist and a dictator. Yeah. But no, he's not. There's no win. You know what he's doing? He's letting the Democrats fuck up completely, right? Yeah. And initially, Wisconsin, the governor said they didn't want Trump's support. They didn't want his help. Now they want his help now. You know what? Good for him. That's what you need. God, it just... None of this stuff is gonna last forever, right? It's just not. Eventually, it, it, I, something will be done, Trump will do that, but it's not gonna last forever. But the fact that we're still dealing with this and people are dying and being murdered and all this stuff, like, wake up. Regular people can't defend themselves. Regular people can't walk in the streets. If you're not part of the far left orthodoxy, you're against him. Yeah. You're, you're, That's you're, it. you're a complete murdering lunatic. Let me tell you something. Normal people don't care. Normal people have jobs. Normal people yeah. just want to watch a foot. You can't even watch a football game with all this ideology yeah. infesting. Yeah. Oh, God. You know what? I hate sports. Can I say it? I hate sports. Oh, cool. I like hockey. Lame. <laughs> um, I'm done because I'm angry. And um, Rickard's white. Yeah, Rickard's my favorite beer. Fuck right. All right. Oh, you can't say white though. Don't say Rickard's white. Racist. And I, I can't say Rickard's red because what's red native? I'll fucking mm. get in trouble for that. Well, see you all next week. We'll have more videos soon. You didn't do the slam. I'm doing it! I hate this fucking shit.